Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Medicaid Lane, guys. I'm so excited about this. I know I was supposed to wait for the Ricky Gervais show. Uh, I don't even know what episode. Like, I was supposed to get to Carl's Diary or whatever and then start with an Indian abroad, but I can't wait anymore. <laughs> it's been too long, and I have so many things to react to and so many suggestions, and I, my list is so long and et cetera that I, I just can't wait. I, I'm going to watch it. An Indian abroad, season one. Episode one, China. I'm excited, guys. I can't wait. I'm so, I've been wanting to watch this since everybody's been bringing it up. And everybody's like, oh, but you got to watch this. You got to watch it. Screw it. I'm sorry if I'm ahead of time, whatever. I just wanted to start with this because I'm, I'm just too excited. Let's just do this. Yay. The seven wonders of the world. Christ the Redeemer. The Taj Mahal. The Great Pyramids. Truly man's greatest achievements. But there's one man who sees them differently. <laughs> if that was on my road, the council would be on it. They'd go, get that down. It's a death trap. <laughs> <laughs> Why would it be a death trap? Carl Pilkington. It's like a pylon. <laughs> I don't know the politically correct term. Moron, I think. He is a round, empty-headed, chimp-like, <laughs> mank moron. Buffoon, idiot. Is that normal? And he's a friend. <laughs> oh. and he's... We often described him as being like some kind of real-life Homer Simpson. Homer is small-minded, petty, but at, at his core, a good person. And lovable. Absolutely lovable. It's like a game of Jenga that's got out of hand. <laughs> I can't get enough of him. <laughs> is everyone going to be wearing this? He's a typical little English and he doesn't like going out of his comfort zone. Bollocks are squashed. I just think that it'd be amazing to send him round the world. What we'd like to see is him experience I just want to say, I just want to say, I haven't even watched this yet and I'm so excited. I just want to say, it's amazing the fact that Ricky had the idea to send him around the world, but it's more amazing the fact that he accepted. <laughs> I'm just grateful he accepted. I don't know how many seasons there is, how many episodes there is. I know nothing, but I'm just, I'm excited. Watches other people's and see if in any way we can change his outlook on the world. <laughs> I've been to many exotic places. I genuinely think travel uh, broadens the mind. I want him to hate it. That's true. I want him to hate every minute of it for my Why? own amusement. That's so mean! Nothing is funnier than Carl in a corner being poked by a stick. I am that stick. And now I have the mic of Sky behind me. <laughs> what an ass. Oh, <laughs> this is one of the funniest, most expensive practical jokes I've ever done. And it's going to be great. Just let me go home. Oh, Jesus Christ. Amazing. All right? All right? Yeah. I'm all right, yeah. What have you been doing today? Just hanging around. You look nervous. You look uneasy. Oh, I am a bit, yeah. It's not normal, is it? What? What is it? You're asking me how my day is, and there's a room full of people who don't know. <laughs> yeah? Well, you're going to get to know them. You're going to get to know them really well. What, everywhere I go, these lot are coming, are they? Yeah. Well, they've got to, they've got to film it. Otherwise, you'd be by yourself and we wouldn't see it on the telly. Right, Money Carl. not well spent that way. I'm very jealous of your trip here, Carl, to the mighty Great Wall of China. Well, you say that, but how come I'm going and you're not doing any? <laughs> well, because um, we're executive producers. Yeah, we're busy, we've got other stuff going on. Mm. Uh. So, out of all the places, this is the place that I'm worried about the most. Why? Just the way they live, the different. What, Chinese what people? What does he know? They just wreck everything. They, they make everything weird. That's what I'm worried about. Exactly. To you, I don't to you. What you mean. Everything, chicken. Why is it orange in Chinatown? <laughs> <laughs> orange chicken is amazing. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I paused it there. You can see all the way up to his brain. But anyway. I know. I just wanted to say orange chicken is amazing. I absolutely love it. And I haven't had it in more than 18 years because it's not a thing here. And I've tried to make it and replicate it, but there are a lot of things you can't, you just can't get the ingredients here for and stuff. So I haven't had orange chicken in forever and I miss it so much and I would love to eat that. And he's complaining about it, this bastard. <laughs> just the slightest thing, the chicken is orange. <laughs> they eat anything, you know what I mean? Octopus. Toad. <laughs> he just made that one up! No, say, say if I go over there, I have a bit of toad. I go, do you know what? Quite nice, that. It's nicer than chicken. Yeah. 
it's going to be pretty tough to get a bit of grilled toad yeah. in this country. It could make me sort of wish for stuff that I can no longer get hold of. Have you been listening to what he's been saying there? Yeah. That he's scared to go to China in case he gets a taste for toad. toad. And then he comes back and he can't get toad. <laughs> so I just wanted to check that you heard that. Yeah. The way they write, the, the letters are weird. Their alphabet's not like ours. Theirs are like, like someone testing out a biro. Everything's... <laughs> There's, there's no I logic to anything that they do. <laughs> there is. There is. Listen, of course there's a logic to it. The way they read a book, it's all the other way around, from back to front instead of from front to back and up and down. And Everything that we've done, they've gone, right, we're going to do it weirder. <laughs> That's how it comes across. <laughs> well, some would say that they did it first. Their civilization beat ours by, by many, many hundreds of years. But That's anyway. Amazing. Right. Off you go. See you when you get back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I love this. This is amazing. It's grey, isn't it? Is today a cloudy day or is this pollution? <laughs> it's not worth having this in HD, is it? Nothing looks crisp. <laughs> Nothing sort of hazy. Some sort of Kate Bush video or something. This is amazing. Can anyone speak English? Does he want to give us a lift? English? Do you want to give us a ride? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even the guy's smiling. Where's he going? All right. All right. <laughs> doesn't seem to work when you smile at people. Nothing, nothing. Nothing? <laughs> so I don't know if smiling means smiling here. I mean, if they don't understand my language and they don't understand my expressions, I don't know what I've got to communicate with. Nothing. All right. Nothing, nothing. I've got nothing, then. This is amazing. I don't think I've ever felt this lost. Ever? Really? You? you? <laughs> See what I mean here, though, about things not being normal? You know, I get off a plane all sort of achy and that, jet lagged. I thought, I know, I'll have a massage, that'll be nice. Massage? Massage? Hi. I'm never going to get to where I'm going, I haven't been to bed yet. <laughs> it is nice though, to be fair. <laughs> that isn't, that isn't good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god, this is amazing. Hell. I mean, what was that a massage? I don't know. What, or was I just being mugged? Yeah, <laughs> but... <laughs> about being mugged this is amazing this is amazing but um i mean like I, I i i don't know i know everybody's gonna say like no this is 100 percent blah 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 but i just feel like whoever's like on the crew filming in the back got this guy and like Psst, come here come here all right all right we're filming and this guy is funny and blah 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 and ricky wants him to be pissed off so just like just just go mad on him just like rub his head in the weirdest way possible <laughs> Like, cause I mean, what the fridge? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's it's too much. I love it. It's amazing though. <laughs> like, like, come on. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to find the hotel that Ricky. I feel. I feel like they literally somebody flew to China like a month before this and like just told everyone, made a, a huge announcement. Guys, in a month. Carl's coming, we gotta piss him off, we gotta make him feel weird, we gotta, if he smiles at you, just don't smile back, and if, <laughs> if he wants to, you know, buy something, just make it complicated, and just be weird, be extra weird, guys, no need for traditional Chinese culture, no, no, guys, be weird, <laughs> just to piss him off. Steve has sorted out for me. It has um, to be real. Dude. I'm not expecting that much, if I'm honest with you. I've got a room, Pilkington. Oh, that's so pretty. It's compact, isn't it? Yes. Yes. It's cozy. Feels Chinesey. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Those slippers, they're mine. Mm-hmm. Quite Chinese, aren't they? Behind the cloth, you have a TV. Any English? No, only Chinese. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Ta. Amazing. Aw. I like this touch. Suzanne wants a fish, so I'll have to let her know that I've got a couple. I mean, that is for sort of company, isn't it? It's not a, it's not some sort of appetizer, that is it. <laughs> That's handy. You know, I said that Chinese always come up with inventions. They're quite futuristic with their ideas. 
It's all right, isn't it? A little radio with headlights. I don't know when you'd need that. I mean, the, the whole beauty of radio is, you know, you can listen to it in the dark. I mean, if that was on the Dragon's Den, you'd, you'd say, I'm out, wouldn't you? I like how they don't talk back to him, it's just him. I'm just going to go and have a wander about, I think, because there's nothing else to do, so I might as well, you know, at least try and see a bit of the place, mix with the locals. Um, you know, that's what Ricky and Steve want, innit? They want, they want to see how I can handle myself with some foreigners. Writing your name in Chinese is only three minutes, and anything you want, I think it's an in calligraphy. Car. 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 Carl. Yeah. L. Carl. 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 Not Carla. Oh. Just Carl. <laughs> Carl. Oh, Carl. Carl. Yeah. Carl. 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 No. Uh, Carl. No. Carl. No. 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 Carl. No. That's Carl. close enough. Carl. <laughs> You don't need to add... Like this, your country, the Shashbia. Shashbia. You know what I mean? Shashbia. Shashbia. Yeah. How many Chinese is Shashbia. Shakespeare. Shashbia. Yeah. 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 It's just breaking it up a little bit. Yeah. 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 Carl. Yeah. I'm Carl. <laughs> Carl. It's not Carl. It's Carl. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, it smells more Chinesey now, doesn't it? What? It's all sweet and sour. I love sweet and sour food. Amazing. Good, Amazing that's cuisine. Dead. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Are they dead? Are they toads? No, he found so the toads. So I don't get it. Are they alive in that bag? Yeah. No. Why are Ugh. they legging it? I don't like that. He's got like a Sainsbury's bag full of toads. He rips them out, cuts their head off, sticks them in another bin bag. No. I don't even know what that is. I mean, it looks like a load of condoms in jam and like water that. or something. I mean, it's weird how he's got it sat there as if that's meant to tempt you in. No. All right. Well, the idea was, you know, that I'd, I'd nip out and get a little snack, because Ricky and Steve said, yeah, try everything out, you know, do what the locals do, but there's mm. no way I'm eating this stuff. Yeah, no, I wouldn't either. Army, no. No. no! No! It looks like they've got custard creams on the stick as well at the end. Just anything on a stick. Why do you want on a stick? Because it's easier to go. No. No, I, no, no. I just don't understand why they're eating all this. I mean, at home, restaurants will get closed down for having a cockroach in the kitchen. That's yeah, true. Here, he's a starter. I didn't know it'd be like this. I didn't think it'd be this mental, really, in the food department. There's a woman over there just tucking in on a no. bunch of scorpions. Look at her, like she's just having like a bit of a chicken leg. Not a problem, just, just shoving them in the face. She looks at it before she puts it in her mouth, like, oh, yeah, which bit will they have first? The head <laughs> or the arse? I mean, as she's eating one off one stick, she's looking at the other stick. She can't get enough of them. <laughs> her eyes, it's like the donuts to her. She's looking at them, she's going, oh, look at that one there. That one looks nice. You see, I don't know where it stops. Where's the line between food and insect? And critter. If she gets up in the morning, there's a spider in the bath. What does she do? Oh, good, I'll leave the croissant for tomorrow. I'll eat that now. <laughs> What's he eating? Oh, God. What sort of egg is that? It's a fetus. Inside an egg. A fetus? Of what? I don't know why, any. Just for people watching who no. don't know, he's with us, you know, helping drive the bus and what have you. He seems like a normal bloke. I mean, eating a fetus. Of what, though? Not even waiting for the thing to be born and to live a bit and then eat it. I like how he just eats it looking at him. <laughs> Only been here for a bit. I'm running out of these. I've got three more packets left. But, you know, the weird thing is, I'm, I'm the freak here, aren't I? Everyone else is eating that. I'm eating these. Yep. I'm the odd one out. Yep. 100%. I'm with him on that, though. I'm with him on all of that. I wouldn't have... I don't like... The fact that I was just take a live anything and just rip it open to sell it. No, I, that kind of stuff. Like, yes, I eat animals and blah, blah, blah. And, but there's lines that I can't, I couldn't, like restaurants where you go and you pick the lobster and then they'll boil it. And, oh, the other day I saw a video of somebody that made a lobster walk into the, a pit of boiling water by itself like it cooked itself just I hate that kind of stuff and I wouldn't eat I hate creepy crawlies I wouldn't eat them just no I would though I like like I like learning about new tastes and stuff I would be curious 
as to what they taste like, but I would I couldn't bring myself to like eat them. I would have somebody else eat them and describe the flavor to me. <laughs> However way they can. So I'm with him on this, but I'm sure if he like looked a little bit more, he could find a, something a little more tame to eat. I have my name done. That says Carl. Oh, Carl. Could be that way. <laughs> I don't know. It's one or the other. Could be that way. Let's face it. <laughs> I don't know. Could be any way. I'm sure if you, you know, if you're Chinese and you're watching this, you know if I've got it the right way up. Well, there you go, that's, that says Carl. I like I his exact I Susanna gift yet. I could just give her this. <laughs> and say, yeah, it says Suzanne that. <laughs> she wouldn't know. No, she wouldn't. That's amazing. Okay, that was sweet, though. That was well, sweet. To see the, he was, the he's one. been there like a day and he's like, I didn't get her gift yet. That was cute. All right, this guy has... And I also thought it was very cute when he was like walking down the street trying to smile at people and stuff. And and when he started kicking around the colorful thing, like he he's he's a sweet guy. He's nice and very polite and stuff. He's simple-minded, but he's like he seems like such a sweet guy. I like well, it. Well, aren't I, you know one of the wonders of the world? But I'm I'm just not in the mood, honestly. I'm still knackered. I'm still jet lagged. And just just the weirdness of China. That I didn't you, know. Like. I don't, I've, I haven't traveled like at all, basically, except from, you know, the States to Argentina and that's about it. But I, I didn't realize that when you go to see something in very particular, like the Great Wall of China, you have to be in the mood to see it. Interesting. Okay. I didn't know that. It's like one o'clock in the morning at home. Okay, I've yeah. got a message. <laughs> Hello, Carl, mate. It's Stephen here. Um, listen, I've uh, got a little treat arranged for you today. I know that you're fascinated by the strange, the weird, the esoteric, and obviously one of the big parts of Chinese culture is fortune telling. Um, so we've arranged for you to go and see a fortune teller, get some predictions about your future, my friend. All right, enjoy. <laughs> enjoy. Do people really believe that here? I mean, are, are people taking kids in? and saying to him, right, here's my kid, what's his future going to be like? Because if his life is going to be a load of shite anyway, end it, do him a favour. But then it doesn't always work like that, that's what I mean with fate. I didn't do that well at school, I left with a, an E in history. Shocker. So say if my dad knew that, he'd go, right, get the brick, and that'd be the end of it. Whereas, look, I've done all right. I've got, I've got a job and paying me way in life. This is amazing. I have got a bit of a problem with this. A mate has sent me it of this dumb. I'm not happy about it, really. <laughs> I sort of think I'm better off not knowing. If something bad's going to happen, I prefer it just to happen without having a warning. OK. Time, time I was born. He's got a palm pilot. I didn't expect him to have a palm pilot. <laughs> Do you know who Bruce Springsteen is? He's got the same birth date as me. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm concentrating on calculating your future. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Does he have a translator with him? You have to pay attention to your health because you got some sort of heart problem. Oh, here we go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This was years ago. I don't know how, how many years ago this was filmed. This was years ago. Now, I'm going to hear a bunch of stuff about Carl's supposed future. Now that it's been years, I would like to know if anybody knows in the comments if any of this was accurate. If anything that they're about to say actually happened or had a meaning or, you know, it just kind of winged it in any sense. I'm curious to know because we are in Carl's future. What sort of heart problem? Something to do with your heart, blood vessel. It's weird, that, because my dad had a problem with his heart, and they say it runs in the family. <laughs> so is it going to kill me, then? 90%. 90%? It's going to kill 90% of you. <laughs> but maybe we can change it. Although you have some health problem, we're going to do a ceremony for you. 
But you do need to write a confession about what you did wrong. Something I did wrong. Something I did wrong in the past. Mm. Mm. Good one. That's amazing. Why does it sound so loud when he like slurps? Is that guy Cheers. mic'd up or something? You need to write three confession on the three pieces of paper. All right. When I lived in the other flat, there was a fella who used to live in it called Bruce, and he used to get his post, and I'd open it. Why? It was his old flat. I kept getting posts from him years after he'd moved out. See, it's meant to be bad, that, isn't it? Kind of uh, in some put, places, put that's illegal. <laughs> have his head shaved. That's a bit tight, wasn't it? And he had a funny shaped head, so it looked really bad. I'll put that down. Carl Grimshaw for, for put, putting putty in his hair. I'd worked at this bloke's shop called Bob. I was his best paper boy. So I'd collate all my papers, get them all, get them all ready, stick them in my bag. When he wasn't looking, I'd just sort of take a Mars bar, slip it up my sleeve. <laughs> Off I go, so every day, seven a week for about two years. That's amazing. A lot of Mars bars, I know that, that's why it's on air. <laughs> it's always been playing on my mind, that. Because I've since found out that shop doesn't make that much money from delivering papers. Oh, yeah. That's hilarious. A little delinquent uh, here. This is a healing process. Now everything's going to be fine. The other two papers, Great. one needs to be put on top of a mountain. The other one needs to be put in the sea. It will help you to cleanse your soul. Brilliant. Brilliant? <laughs> they gave him homework. <laughs> <laughs> and not just like any homework. All right, you gotta go to the top of a mountain and, you know, just like the middle of the sea. Great, great. I'll just great for just Carl. Give us a second. Just give us a sec. You are kidding me. Have you seen this? Have you seen the things? Why? There's no doors or anything. As soon as you open the door, you could just get a full view of someone. I mean, if it was here... Why were they filming it's him? It's more understandable, isn't it? Because you'd be sat here, and at least people come in, and you'd go, sort of go, I'm in this one. <laughs> it's a bit weird to just sort of wander in and... <laughs> I mean, they've made this bit. Why not just finish it off and put a door on it? They've done the hard bit. A couple of hinges and a door. <laughs> and there's no toilet paper. What did they do here? Did you just pull up the pants and walk off? Is that, is that, is that what you do? I'm, I'm not here to say they should be using toilet paper, it's not right. If that's not what they do, that's not what they do, but it's just... I actually think, if I am not mistaken... Well, like, here in Argentina, I don't know how it works in, like, UK or the States or whatever. Here in Argentina, in a, a, any public bathroom is very, 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 very hard to find. Well, it's hard to find public ba bathrooms, period, in, like, a public place, like a park or wherever. But if you do find one, they will never have toilet paper, and it's not because people here don't use it. <laughs> It's because they just nobody's on top of that, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, China, a Chinese emperor, I don't know when, invented toilet paper. Yeah, started that. That's that, that's like how it came about and started with like sheets of just like I don't remember what kind of paper, or cloth or whatever, but that's where toilet paper came from. So I, I believe these people are using toilet paper, just not. It's 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 just not in the public bathroom. I didn't know that. I didn't think China was going to be like this. I thought it was going to be more... Like I said, I thought it was where they'd made the iPod. <laughs> I think I've got the wrong place, because this, this ain't a place also, where they need... Yeah, when he was talking about the way, like, he thought China was working and stuff, I think most of the things he thought were uh, Japan. <laughs> like, I feel like he, he's, he just mixed up China and Japan a lot. When he was, like, talking about technology and eating octopuses and all that kind of stuff. Octopi? Whatever. Uh, like, I feel like he, he just put China and Japan in the whole bag and it's the same thing. need an iPod. Have a toilet roll first. I mean, it's weird, because whenever you buy stuff like that, toilet roll rollovers and stuff, it says, made in China. <laughs> you aren't fucking using them, then. Oh, my God. That's odd, isn't it? So he's got to leave the house and he's got to go, do I feel like one today? I might do. I've had a bit of a dicky belly. I best get my seat. Everyone who's is walking past knows he's going to have a shit at some point today. I wouldn't like that. 
Jesus. Well, never mind. I, 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 you know, like never mind. I go into a public toilet, you like to nip in with a coin and open the door. Yeah, yeah well, you couldn't do that here because right. there's, there's no doors on the toilet. <laughs> they were filming some stuff like on this street, just with like traffic yeah. and stuff. I said, I'm just nipping in here. Walked in, was greeted by two fellas squatting. <laughs> there were chefs from the place on the corner, so that's that's reassuring. Oh, no. Honest to God, one of them was on the phone taking an order. It was, <laughs> it was really... I've never seen anything like it. I don't think I could ever get used to that. Oh, my you God. You need to have your own space when doing that, and they're just there. One's on the phone, the other one's just sort of looking round. That's unbelievable. That's yeah. amazing. Oh. I mean, I don't know what people are watching Sky are going to do with the information. Chinese people have a shit with no door while taking an order for food. Well, he looked like he was sort of saying, I'll have it ready in, like, about five minutes. Oh, no, give me ten. Like, he, he <laughs> yeah, forgot well, no, to... How does he know? I'll tell you that. Or, or a King Poo chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. I like how he says stuff with just like a straight face. This guy's you know, amazing. I'm seeing the Great Wall today, aren't I? Um, Ricky and Steve just said get down to the bus depot uh, where there's loads of coaches and that. Which you know, I'm I'm not looking forward to. Dude, this. okay, okay, okay. I it would be so nice to go on a vacation and just be told, all right, go here and this bus will take you there and you'll do this today instead of like having to plan each thing. Again, I've never traveled or anything. I barely go anywhere. But I think it'd be like so nice and so fun to have like other another person just like randomly pick obviously they're trying to pick things to piss them off but besides the point just have people p like pick all right and just take care of everything you go on this bus you'll go there and then here that you'll do this activity and then come back and everything's like taken care of and he just got he just kind of got to go with it and I think that's amazing I think that would be so much freaking fun Pilkington, Pilkington. Do you know what I mean getting on a bus a full bus. of tourists with a fella stood at the front yapping <coughs> on, you know, with loads of history facts and just loads of stuff that you're never going to remember. Mm. Is he an English bus? English tour? Do you not understand? Ricky and Steve just said, an English come bus. here. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. Hello. Thanks a lot. Hello. Hey, he could have at least learned, like, hello and thank you in simple words, right? Mao Zhuji, Mao Zhuji, Zhong Qi Yi Sheng, he didn't have to be able to do this. What did you say when you said that? It's a bit of a pointless exercise, really. It's pointless. Uh, Stuck on here with a daft hat on, not understanding what's going on. Why is he wearing the hat if he doesn't want to? I mean, this woman's friendly enough, but she's even she's sort of blanking me now. <laughs> Yeah, the fellow behind me is coughing his guts up. I thought I was putting on a waterproof coat in case it rained. I need to throw on this bus. Why? I, like... Why did they do that? I was going to say before when he was like in the lot looking for the bus, but I don't know if you guys could hear that. But there was like clearly somebody just hawking a loogie in my left ear, like someone off camera. And I thought, I didn't say anything because I thought maybe it was like part of his crew. But like I can keep hearing it. It's like <laughs> these people are all just like coughing. Like he said, just coughing out their lungs. And I can hear it. Like if, you, if you're watching this with headphones, you can probably hear it like in the left side, just right here. <laughs> that is so gross. What the hell? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Here's the wall. <laughs> oh my god. I can't see it now anyway, so it'll be a surprise for me. There you go! <laughs> How long does it take to get there? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is such a good idea. I feel like I'm at the post office on our way to Ricky for this. Under the world. He's really tall there, isn't he? Under the world. Look at everyone, pushing and shoving. This is it then. It was heavily restored in both the 1950s and 1980s. I didn't know that. 
<laughs> Not even old bricks. Not surprised. Am I missing something here? So the old stuff's gone, hasn't it, really? But then it doesn't count. It shouldn't be a wonder, then. <laughs> you can't just build something on it and still, you know, get all the tourists in when it's not what it says on the tin. <laughs> what I'm looking at is basically a wimpy home. You know, you can see it for miles. It goes on for miles over the hills and everything. Yup. But so does the M6. Do you know what I mean? I, you can I, see that for miles. What is that, like and a you highway? Go great, and that does a job. You can drive on that. It's a highway. Bears in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had the same reaction. Why are there bears there? There's like bears in the Great Wall. That's so weird. What the heck? Why? What's this all about, though? Yeah. What? It's almost like they know that the wall isn't that good. <laughs> so, what else can we give them? We've charged them like seven quid to get in to see an old wall. Well, it's not an old wall, it's from the 1980s. <laughs> this is I've got a mate who's got some bears. Have you heard? Stick them down at the bottom. <laughs> They are. Look at him stood up. He's got a point. Oh, Evolution. he's so cute. The driver's getting involved, chucking it food, because he's, he's not into apple, is he? I've seen what he likes eating. If that was some sort of squid with a tumour on its head, he'd be tucking into it. He's not into fruit. <laughs> to be honest, I fancy getting in there and getting a mouthful. It's the first normal food I've seen since I've been here. Fruit. Oh, what a cute bear. Why are they like bears? though? That's, like, that's messed up. Yeah, whatever. Hello, mate. Steve Merchant here. How are you doing? Um, I heard that you went to see the Great Wall of China today. Um, I'm sure you enjoyed it. And actually, Ricky and I want you to see more of it. Uh, in fact, we'd like you to see all of the Great Wall. Literally all of it. We want you to travel the entire length of the wall. <laughs> so, enjoy it. See ya. What's the point of that? His little face. I like his hat. This is amazing. Yeah, I'm just just I'm a so, bit annoyed I'm just today. So happy. You know, I thought I'd seen the Great Wall of China, which, being honest with you, it's, it's not the Great Wall. It's it's an all right wall. It's the all right wall of China. <laughs> but you know, I thought I'd seen it, and then Steve calls up with some bright idea, saying, "Oh, I want you to see more of it. In fact, I want you to see all of it." The all right wall of China is one of dude, this guy is just. It's so simple. I love it. I, I think I have to call the Great Wall of China the All Right Wall of China from now on, just like forever. And nobody's going to get it because nobody, <laughs> nobody here is going to know what I'm talking about. But it's just, it's too good. It's just stupid. You have one new message. Oh, come on, mate. I'm curious how they, I thought, I don't know why my head went they were going to take him like on a helicopter ride and just heli past the Great Wall, the All Right Wall, and for him to see, like, it from above. But I don't think that's what they're doing. Come on, always be in contact. You're not on holiday. You've still got other business to attend to. You know the rules. Give us a call. Oh, man. Are you having a laugh? This isn't the Great Wall, is it? <laughs> is that like where it me? starts or ends? They I mean, wanna... I like the way there's no tourists and that. Nope. But then why would they be? This is the original wall, isn't it? Or is it? I, d I don't know, is it just badly done? <laughs> this is pretty shit, isn't it? You're meant to be able to see it from the moon, aren't you, the Great Wall? Would you want to? I think you can't. Neil Armstrong getting his binoculars out. Fuck, you know, have you seen it from up here, Buzz? Jesus. And the fortune teller told me that, you know, I had to get rid of one of my sins on a mountain. Ah, OK. So I might as well do it whilst I'm up here. There you go. Oh, my God, that can you imagine... That was all about Carl Grimshaw getting put in his hair. Can you imagine somebody finding that randomly? But, you know, it's worth doing, isn't it? That means I'm not going to have a heart attack. There you go. Definitely worth it. <clears throat> well, I've been travelling for three days. I'm, uh, I've walked miles. And let's face it, there's only so much time you can look at anything. And the only reason I've, I've come to this bit of the wall is because Steve said that... Wait! <laughs> I, I, I interpreted that like he was walking from the Great Wall, like from beginning to end for like three days. 
<laughs> but I don't think that was right. That's hilarious. Well, there's a little village close by, and you know, we know someone who's gonna sort me some dinner out. Neo. Yeah. Okay, he's learning. Yeah. He's learning. You all right? He's a big lad. Um. Food. Just, just, a, just a little, little bit, little Hungry. bit. Not, not big. Oh. <laughs> No, they seem like nice people. I mean, I can tell that just uh, even though I can't speak their language and stuff. Well, if they accept the defeat you, it's nice, but it's just a bit awkward if it's something I don't like in it because I can't. You know, you can have, you can use your hands to say certain things, but what can you do if it's something I don't like? <laughs> you can't sort of make a lie yeah. up. <laughs> Why would that? he tell him it's something what he doesn't like? Right, forget it. Forget it. No. It's fucking hell, they're massive toads. Yeah, it's toads in a carrier bag. Oh, I looked at the wrong time. Oh. <laughs> no. I didn't really want to look, but when I turned around, it looked like she was having a wrestle with one. And I heard, like, doof, doof. so I'm guessing the toad wasn't winning. No. Oh, and I've been my told God, it tastes no. like chicken, so I should just eat it and think, yeah, it's chicken, it's chicken. It's just nice chicken. Why did she have to cave its head in out here? Why couldn't she just do it inside somewhere and then I'd eat it? Tell me after. All right, yeah, I'll look in a minute. <laughs> Unless they knew we were coming, couldn't they have just got something normal? Fruit. Why didn't you say to him, no, is it all right if I bring Carl around? Cook him something. Yeah, yeah, of course you can, yeah. What does he like to eat? Does he like toad? Just you, surely, I mean, I know you don't know me that well, but you know me enough that I've, I've never said to you, do you know what, I'd love a bit of toad. I've never <laughs> said that to you. You could have just nipped it in the bud there and then gone, oh, he's not a fan of that. He's not, he doesn't like it. Poor guy, this They're waving me over. <sighs> it's, close, it's like a murder scene, look. Toad's, bit of Toad's head there. Ah, do you? Oh, look at this. It actually doesn't look bad, but when, when you know what it is. Chicken, chicken. Hey, 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 hey. Just, just a little bit, because I'm not very good with these. He's better than me. Ah. That just looks like noodles. Mm. Mm. Nice. Mm. Lots of that. <laughs> oh. No, I love it. I love it. Mm. Oh, just, a, just, uh, just chewing. <laughs> I wonder if he actually liked it or not. I think the baby's choking. <laughs> <laughs> Eating toad was weird. Um, you didn't eat toad. I had a little bit of toad. How do you know? What does the toad taste like? Like a... Uh, toad. Chicken. No, chicken. Just chicken. This woman was forcing it to me. She was saying, oh, eat it, eat mm. it. <laughs> okay, so this is... This is... <laughs> what I said before like they're they're prepping him for a bad time they're like all right this guy hates it you got to smash the toad's brain in front of his head like in front of him and then you know they're doing it on purpose I mean poor guy poor guy that sucks just trying to make him miserable <laughs> no <laughs> oh, at least she's oh. laughing every time I swallowed it it was coming back up it was like it was still alive and the legs were still kicking itself out of my head no <laughs> <laughs> right, no. no more. Uh, okay. At least she wasn't offended. That's nice. What's he making then? Not a toilet door. I know that much. <laughs> Hello. Kind of looks like a coffin, Mary. What? What are you making? What is this? Coffin. Coffin. Is this for someone local? <clears throat> this lady here. It's for this lady? What? She looks pretty healthy. Yeah. <laughs> it's better to make it now because when you're young, you prepare those things. When you're old, you won't be able to organise this. Doesn't it depress you seeing this every day when you leave your house? Not the way it looks. I think it's a nice-looking coffin, as coffins go. But I don't want to be reminded that I'm going to die. Not every day. I'm not scared of death. I'm not worried about it. Well, that's nice. Maybe you can help me sending the coffin. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
Sure, mm. why not? Of course. Well, I mean, my flight isn't big enough to have something like this hanging around. I haven't got any outside space. So I'd have to have a parking permit for this. <laughs> so I couldn't, I couldn't be doing this at home. But there's something good about it, because as you get older, you know, she's in her 60s, it's a nice little project, isn't it? She's Make got your own coffin. This is probably sorted out. She doesn't have to worry about that. The house is probably paid for. And you Why? need something to do to keep Why you going. Why is he assuming these If you haven't got any things? little projects, that's when you die. So, in a way, it's just something that when she goes to bed at night, she's got a little to-do list in her head. Oh, coffee needs to be varnished. I'll have to sort <laughs> that out. Because there's not that much else around here, is there, to keep your mind busy? Dude, I, I, she has a whole freaking lot right there. She can garden flowers. She can make crops. She can, you know, do anything with that lot. There's a lot of things to do. What is he talking about? Yes, he's gone off now. He's having his lunch. <laughs> He's having he his dose. I love how he accepts like any any just task. Do this, sure thing. Still climbing. It was like a week later. Pretty. Pretty pretty. You have one. New message. Hello, car mate. Stephen here. I uh, just want to leave you a quick message. We've sorted something out for you. Um, one of the great elements of Chinese culture. Very popular, of course, in the UK in the 70s. We've arranged for you to see some kung fu, my friend. Kung fu. Yeah? Enjoy it. I'd enjoy that. Kung fu. I'd be interested in that. What's he kung fu for? Why not? It's pretty cool. It's a very cool discipline. Violent, isn't it? They start so young. It's Kung Fu! It's yeah! That's just the way everyone's remembered the kit. It was never like this for me at school. About 25 minutes was just spent with all the kids trying to find a pair of shorts out of lost property because no one ever remembered <laughs> to bring the kit. So it was more like a Trini and Susanna than a PE lesson. We'd all be sort of going, Are these your type? Do you want to wear these? I'll wear them. Just, it wasn't taken seriously. The PE teacher wasn't a proper PE teacher. He did geography when he wasn't doing they PE. They never are. Uh, they never are, dude. I, my PE teacher for years when I was in school was, she wasn't a PE teacher. She was like a, I don't remember what she was, but it had something to do with dancing. It had nothing to do with like PE at all. And she knew none, like she didn't know how to teach us any of the sports or anything. She was just like a dancer. And I've like, I everyone I know, their PE teacher was never a proper te PE teacher. Like, what is that? Well, that's why we have a load of fat kids. Leo. Makes sense. How are you? <laughs> Welcome to Shaolin. And where is the original Kung Fu coming from? And you were going to see the Kung Fu training. All right. This is the metal. All right. And they were going to put another throat. Even I use my finger, just have a little touch. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, just tell me. You don't have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and you will have a very big shock on yeah, the body. Yeah, this. Oh, oh yeah. Ouch. Ouch. What? Ouch. Oh boy. What? Ouch. It's got to hurt, though, hasn't it? Yep. <clears throat> so I'll see you outside the hotel. About sort of half four, quarter to five. Four a.m. Okay. <laughs> four in the morning. Are you having a laugh? That's amazing. I like how just like chill the guy was. I can't tell they're hard to read. <laughs> right, well, that's good, isn't it? You know, I've been walking the wall for the last few days. You know, aching all over, and now <clears> he <throat> wants me to get up at four in the morning to do some kung fu. It's nice and relaxing, isn't it? Yep. Nice little holiday. He just went. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why does he keep I... doing it? Come. Why did he eat it? He ate it there, didn't he? No. Oh. What is he doing? Um. The little sounds he makes are funny, <sighs> dude. What? No. Why is he still going? 
Joking, was he when he said he was going to come round at four? No, no, he was not. Just having a, having a bit of fun with me. A nice start to the day. Moon's still out. And some very orange clothes right there. Yeah. The thing is, I don't know what power I've got. That's the thing. If I start wrestling with him, I don't know how strong I am. I might do some damage <laughs> by accident. I highly doubt that. Because I don't go car. about punching people and stuff, so no. I don't know how hard I can hit. I might, I might really hurt him. Say if I'm just a proper mugger. Yeah, I, I'm walking right. down the street, right? Mm. I look what? at you. I'm going... <laughs> what is Carl's obsession with mugging and muggers? I don't know if I've ever watched a Carl clip that uh, he didn't mention somebody mugging somebody else or a mugging or this. It's why is that so? Like, has he been mugged that many times in his life where it's just like right here, always on his mind? Going this way, yes. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, stop right, me. Hang on a minute. Yeah, yeah, just get back a bit. So, so I, I'm walking down the street and mm. I think this fella looks like he's. He's got a few quid. Mm. And I'd go, mm. I'd go, I'd go, excuse me, mate, you haven't got the time on you, have you? Listen, give us your money. Oh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> give us your money. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. What the yeah, happened? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, I got it the first time. Yeah. Come on, go! <laughs> Quickly, faster! Come on, come on! <laughs> ah, yeah, ah, ah. Mm, mm, mm. They got a really oh. fun guy to trade him. Quick! <laughs> 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 He doesn't know what my health is. At no point since I've been here has he gone, no, Carl, you know, it's a serious issue. Have you got any health problems? <laughs> He's always pushing a little bit more. He loves giving pain out. He's not a Buddhist, is he? He's a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. There you go. What am I doing? Seriously, what is going on here? <laughs> it's OK, Carl. I'll give you a challenge. A sort of challenge. What's the other challenge? <laughs> this glass balloon. I'm going to throw the needle from this way to get this balloon. You're going to throw a needle through the glass? Yes. Hit the balloon? Yes. Hole in glass? Yes. So you're going to... Hey, hang on a minute. Right. <laughs> One, two... No way. Jesus. Well, that's impressive. I'm impressed with that. Yeah, me you too. You want to have a try? Holy crap. Ah, the little kid! Quiet, please. Quiet, please? Quiet, please. I know that much. Oh, poor guy. Ouch. That shouldn't hurt, should it? Just having a cup of tea. <sighs> poor camera guy, dude. Ouch. With all these aches and pains and that, you know, Ricky and Steve have sorted me out with a Chinese massage, which isn't like them, that. Get the socks off. Starts, isn't it? You are having a laugh. Come on now. Oh my god. Ow. <laughs> Is that normal? Is that normal? <laughs> what they, they burn is like leg hairs and stuff? Ow! Boy. Right, that's that's hot now, that's mental. Ow, ow, oh, that's ow, hot, ow. that's hot. Fucking <laughs> hell. What is she doing? What laughing. is she doing? I've seen massages on the this? telly. You don't normally have to have a fire extinguisher on standby. No, I, I agree. Massage. What the hell is this? I've what never. What is this doing? Never. Ever. I didn't even know a fire massage existed. What is this? And also, shouldn't he like be shaved? Wouldn't there be like this, that horrible smell of just like burning hair? Just, ow, what the hell? Very bizarre. Traditional Chinese massage. But what? Like I feel like Ricky called and like, hey, you know what? We're not gonna do a traditional massage. What? What? What's like the craziest thing we can do to convince him that that's normal? <laughs> and the lady was like looking around, like, well, I got a box of matches here, and she's like, 
Perfect. What the what, hell? Why? Dude? Tell me why though. Why is this traditional Chinese massage? I don't believe it. I think it relaxes. No, it doesn't relax me. So what does it do? What? Why is she setting fire to me? What good is it doing me? Don't just stand there saying it's traditional. It's traditional. It's what they do here. It's a delicacy. What is she it's doing? It's a delicacy. Why have gloves on fire ever been associated with having a massage? I have no idea, yeah, Carl. I can feel it. I'm with I feel you. It. I'm with I might you, as well have walked in there ah. and been greeted by Edward Scissorhands. Right, I felt that. Put it out. Put it out, please. It's not a good sort of combination, that really. OK, I, I understand that there's some kind of massages where, you know, some are like so strong or hard, like they hurt in the moment, and then like the next day you'll feel relaxed. But I don't feel like this will ever be relaxing. Like it's a horrible experience when you're doing it, and then after you're burnt. Like I <laughs> when is the the relax? Like when is the benefit? Where's I'm with Carl on this. Something done like that 100%. with a woman who can't understand me. This leg's fine, Teller. That's also this worse. This leg is is great. <coughs> I just want this one doing, then we can go. Yep. <laughs> ah, that's all Maybe she's just a, a frustrated magician or something. <laughs> ah, couldn't get a gig doing magic. I like Ends up doing back rubs and she's come up with an idea with having gloves that are on fire. Ah, I, I'd scream but, my head off, didn't I? Because it was. And I'm not messing either for the cameras, because I don't really do that. It really hurt. I believe you. Ah. It seems horrible. What was that bleeping sound? Fire alarm. <laughs> I've travelled miles, haven't I? And this is the end of it, is it? I thought—I mean, I thought you meant to save the best till last, but what is this? Bloody hell! There's the ocean. There you go. For your sin or whatever. Well, that's where it ends, isn't it? I mean, I haven't got another message from Steve saying right. Get your snorkel out. You still haven't seen it all. <laughs> and this definitely isn't you, is it? They've still got Andy Andy working <laughs> on it, it sounds of things. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a wonder of the world. Just this bit. I liked it up on the hills where nobody was, but you got a. Honestly, I like. I'd be interested in traveling and seeing a whole bunch of things and this and that. But this is one, like, the Great Wall of China is one thing that would never be on my list. I just would not be interested. Especially now that I've seen him experience and I'm, like, so in tune with this man. I, I, I feel like all his thoughts, I'll have the same ones. Why are there bears here? What, what's the point of this? <laughs> I feel like I wouldn't enjoy it either. Like, I, I'm more, like, I don't know, the things I would like to see. I'm, I'm more interested in kind of like visual beauty and like all this around the wall, all the plants, everything's dead. There there was not like a green bush in sight. There wasn't grass. <laughs> Nothing was like healthy and pretty. It's just all kind of like dead. <laughs> I don't know, I'm with him on this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if anybody's watching that is offended by that, but this is just my humble opinion. Fella down there selling hot dogs. They've built a bit of a conservatory on it over there. Bloke flogging photographs. And them lot banging. It's non stop. I don't get it though. How come? I mean, that's this isn't protecting anything, is it? Because if the enemy was coming down there, <laughs> come across there, buy hot dog, and then they want to get over it. Oh my god, take your shoes and socks off. It's not even that deep there. You can just wander around it. There you go. So, what is it protecting? That's hilarious. I, I also have no idea why it was built. I, I should probably Google that after this is done. I have no idea why the Great Wall of China has been built. And now I'm curious. I will Google that after. I wonder. It's my last there sin. That I've got to get rid of. I like how his sins tied together everything. Oh, he chucked that nicely. There's an old Chinese proverb. So, OK, wait, 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 wait. So he didn't have heart problems. <laughs> that was like the only future like reading he got. You're like, oh yeah, you're gonna die if, unless you do this conveniently. Um, now I'm curious, did he have heart problems in these last few years? Or, or was he going to have them and doing the things with the papers worked and now he's good and healthy and a happy lad? I need to know. Let me know in the comments below. That says, a toad in a well 
only gets to see. <laughs> he looks so miserable. <laughs> Like he has just he's had enough of everything and um this is just episode one that is amazing poor guy he looks so tired some of the sky <clears throat> and if the toad came up he'd see more of the world which you know is a bit like me in a way of course. I've, I've seen more of the world just from doing this i don't know if it's made me a better person or not <coughs> but he's saying it is he's saying if you get out of the well and see the bigger picture it's good for you, but I'd say it isn't. And the thing is, it's not even worth getting out and seeing more but sky because of all the pollution. It... <laughs> and definitely, if you're a toad, I won't get out of any hole there because they'll grab you and cut your head off and eat you. No, bash it against the floor. That was amazing. I love this so much. There's nothing. There's just credits. That was amazing. <laughs> I am so happy I watched this and I'm so happy there's more. This guy, I just, I don't know why. I, 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 I just feel on the same page in so many things with this guy. And every time I have a thought, he just goes and says it and it's amazing and I love it. This was so entertaining. I am so happy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me watch this. <laughs> it was just brilliant. I, I, I'm so excited to watch more. And I feel like, nothing, at least in this episode, I feel like nothing was particularly ruined or nothing didn't make sense because I, I didn't catch up in the Ricky Gervais show. I feel like it was fine. So that's nice. Anyway, oh my God, dude, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I feel like, I feel fulfilled. <laughs> like in a sense, I feel like, I feel at peace. I don't need to go to the Great Wall of China, and um, I, I, I watched Carl there go there and, and just be miserable, and it was so entertaining, man. I loved that. That was just amazing. This was, I just, I'm, I'm just happy that these three people, Ricky, Steven, and Carl, they, they, they just came together to do this, and it's amazing. I'm glad they put money towards it, and just Carl accepted and everything, because it's just brilliant. I love it. And I cannot wait to watch more. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for those that donate and those that like this video and comment and watch and subscribe. And special thank you to my members. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all the help. You guys have no idea what it means to me. I, I'm so appreciative of it. Um, I just thank you so much. You guys are awesome. And I am... Um, I just, I, I get, I get like overwhelmed and I get so touched that I'm getting so much support and stuff and I'm just so excited about it and so happy about it. So thank you guys so friggin' much. I just, thank you. Like there's no other words. I'm just, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. And speaking of my members, here are the names, guys. Whatever you have to do, have a great one and I'll be around and I'll see you all very soon.